aquarium and also some dry ice. Dry ice? Is that some of this? No. So dry ice is solid carbon dioxide. So it's still pretty cold, but I can hold on to it if I'm careful. It's still really cold though. So we can throw some of that in here. No. Notice that she's wearing gloves when she touches it. I'm not touching it for very long because it's still pretty cold. Even with the gloves on, it's very, very cold to touch. So just like uh, you could use liquid nitrogen in a doctor's office to take off a wart or something, sometimes I use um, dry ice as well because it's that cold. Why do they call it dry? Well, because it's not. So regular ice is from water, right? It's liquid. And that, with, and that, when it melts, goes to water, so that's wet, right? So this is dry ice because it doesn't go to water, but instead it will sublime at room temperature, so the solid will go directly to the gas. You can kind of see it. How do I get like that? Again, you have to like cool down carbon dioxide until it's cold enough to solidify. And we're going to use this carbon dioxide to help think about density, okay? Let's see if I can get this going a little better. Actually, perhaps the first person who was able to explain this one. Who what? Explain what? You'll see. <laughs> okay. Is that bacon? <laughs> bacon. No, so it's bacon bubbling. Solid. It sound like it's. <laughs> it's sizzling. <laughs> it's, it's bubbling because it's the dry ice is warming up. Okay, so now you can see we kind of have a nice layer of carbon dioxide in here. But I'm going to need some helpers. <laughs> Anybody? Hey. So your hand go up. How about you in the back? <laughs> you guys, you, raising your hand is good. Standing up and running up there is not good, okay? So if you want to help, just raise your hand, but stay in your seat. You're going to be blowing bubbles. Justin. You're going to see about your skills. What are the reactions? So you guys, I want both of you to blow bubbles over the tank. So we're trying to get them in the tank, okay? So you can't blow them over the top. We'll see how your bubble blowing skills are. Alright, so we're going to watch carefully in the tank once we get some bubbles in here. It's harder than it looks, folks. So. <laughs> 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 so why are they blowing them up? For real. Y'all ain't kids no more. Y'all can't blow them up. Yeah, haven't, <laughs> clearly haven't been practicing lately. Alright, so look. What's happening? Oh, that's rough. It's going up and down. Here? That's rough. So, are Red they sinking? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. They're floating, right. So what does that mean about their density? Extra credit. So bubbles, All their right. density versus the carbon dioxide Oh, we're standing in there. You guys are putting me in shame here. Oh, I nice bubble blowing. I know. Anybody? Anybody? Can you go? Who's in the bubble bubble? Oh, that's tight. Reggie finally got a bubble. <laughs> exactly. Very good. That's exactly right. So air, let's, let's give her a hand. So air is less dense than the carbon dioxide, so that's why they're floating. So as Brian was telling you, you know, air is about mostly nitrogen, so that's less dense than the carbon dioxide. Nice work, guys. You really got it going. All right, let's give a round of applause for the bubble blowers. Ah, out. It's cold. Yeah. <laughs>